Hey guys, my name is Shaharli Blake and I'm a professional makeup artist based in Washington DC. I specialize in beauty, television, and film. And I have with me here my friend Joseph and we are gonna be demo demoing some Minaji skincare products and makeup. I know for men, makeup is not something that you guys usually wear, but we're gonna demo showing you if in fact you do need to wear it, whether you are taking professional headshots or you do work in television and film, how easy it is for you to do your own makeup really quickly and apply it seamlessly, you know, so you can be your own pro. So of course you wanna start off with clean skin. Joseph's skin has been cleansed already. And then you wanna get into your moisturizer or any special serums if you have like some, you know, detailed things that you wanna get into. So I'm gonna first start with a little bit of sanitizer. All right, so Menage has a 911 eye gel. That's great if you need to depuff your under eye. I know sometimes in the morning when we don't get a ton of sleep, we can have puffy under eyes. I'm gonna use that on Joseph. You don't need a lot because it is a gel, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna have Joseph look up and gently start from the bridge of his nose out under his um, under eye area and just pat it in. All right, next, we're gonna move into hydrating the skin with the moisturizer. They have a Power Hydrator Plus, which is like a three-in-one because it's a moisturizer. It's a tinted moisturizer, so you get a little bit of coverage, and it's also uh, SPF 30, so you're gonna get some protection from the UV, UV rays. SPF is super important um, to protect your skin. You can go in with like a dime size amount that I have here. Don't really worry about the color of it as it um, compares to Joseph's skin tone because it is going to blend right in. Um, so I'm going to just apply all over his face. As you can see, it is blending in seamlessly. It's actually gone. So you don't have like that white... Um, white cast on the skin that you kind of like get with some sunscreens on darker complexions. Um, it is lightweight, gives a nice healthy glow actually. And doesn't feel like oily because that's also something that can like get some of the nuances of um, sunscreen. I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna apply it to Joseph's neck. Whatever you apply to the face, you wanna apply to the neck. So I'm gonna have you go up. And even though it's tinted, it's blending right into the skin. Get the coverage, the moisture, and not the ashy cast, for lack of a better word. I'm gonna just take the excess and hit the top of Joseph's head out. If you're gonna be out all day, I would recommend hitting his entire head out, or just wearing a hat. Okay, so now we are ready to get into the makeup. Um, Minaji has an Urban Camouflage Concealer Stick. I also just like to call it the Camo Stick. Looks like chapstick, really easy to use. Um, it comes in six shades. This is deep, so this is gonna be Joseph's color, but it also comes in bronze, olive, light, sand, and medium. Okay, with the camouflage sticks, a few things to note is that when you're picking the color, you're not gonna find your exact skin tone color. Um, the magic happens when you apply it and blend it out and that's where you get like that just very like undetectable skin but you still get the coverage. You wanna use um, your camel sticks on your under eye area if you have dark circles, um, if you have redness, if you have blemishes or dark spots. 
um, for Joseph in his under eye area, he actually has the opposite going on where he is a little bit lighter underneath his eyes as opposed to the rest of his face. So we're gonna apply this underneath his eyes to give him even, you know, even out his um, complexion. So you can go in with a candlestick directly onto the skin or you can pick up some product and press it in. Uh, we are going to go in with, this is actually deep, um, with deep onto his skin underneath his eyes. So look up, looking up helps to stretch the skin and I'm just gonna press it in, not swiping it because the under eye area, you need to make sure that you're gentle. And I'm gonna go in and just lightly work it into the skin, making sure to blend out the edges so we don't have any dark lines because the whole goal is for it to be undetectable. Just to look like you just have even great skin or give a little bit of coverage to some areas where you might have some blemishes. Okay, on to the next side. I'm gonna pick up some product on my finger and just press it into the skin. So on the first side, I showed you how to apply straight from the stick. Second side is pressed underneath into the skin, being very gentle underneath the eye and making sure, you see how I'm like coming down a little bit lower? That's just blending out the edges. So for reference on my hand, that'd be you know how you put it on and you just wanna make sure that you really like push it into the skin and blend out the edges so you don't have like that um, line, that harsh line already. So that is that. And then lastly, we're gonna move on to the High Def Anti-Shine Powder. It comes in a compact, so really easy to carry around. Um, if you need to apply touch-ups throughout the day, if you happen to get oily, need a little bit more coverage. And this comes in five colors. So this is dark that we're going to use on Joseph. As you can see, not necessarily a perfect match, like I said, but we'll see what happens when we apply it and it blends out. It also, has the other four colors or other four shades I should say which are going to be light mm -hmm. this is sunless tan and this is probably going to be a shade that is going to be more so my skin tone so if you happen to be about the same skin tone as me this is would this would work for you and then there's also medium Oops. medium and bronze so we are gonna go in with dark on Joseph it comes with a sponge to apply product on and um, what you can do to get into the areas like underneath the eye that may be a little bit harder to get into is to fold it like a taco or a fortune cookie uh, you pick up some product. If you have too much, you can just knock off the excess. Look up again and gently press it into the skin. With makeup or pretty much anything that you're gonna be um, applying to your skin, you wanna start off or follow the rule of thumb, less is more. So start off with a little bit and then build your way up. You really don't need a lot and that's also the key to just getting like undetectable coverage. Um, we just want your skin to look like skin. So I'm just pressing this in very lightly into Joseph's skin with the sponge that it comes with. Joseph, I'll have you look that way. So this is just mattified coverage. Um, if we wanted it to be more matte, we could use more. So just a look straight ahead. And then this time around, I'm gonna use a brush. I like to use a brush for quicker application. So same deal as a sponge, you just pick the product up. If you feel like you have too much, you can tap off the excess and then go into the skin. So just smooth. 
strokes from the center of the face. I'm gonna take it onto Joseph's head a little bit because that area can get shiny as well. Go to the other side of the face, tapping off the excess. And then onto his neck. If you feel like you want some coverage under there too, that won't hurt. And that is it. Easy as pie. Um, again, you know, you can use these products to reapply to yourself or to apply if you don't necessarily like have a makeup artist. Um, they're with you for, you know, your TV and film work or if you just have headshots that you need to look a little bit spiffy for. I think this is really good for you and then easy to apply. So I'm going to have Joseph check himself out and see what he thinks. Here you go, sir. Look good. Really natural. Do you think it's something that you can manage to do yourself? Essentially, it was just two products for the makeup, so. It was pretty simple. Yeah, and your skincare. That looks really good. Perfect. Got the rate of approval from the man himself. Uh, something else that I want to touch base on is the liquid powder shine eliminator. I would recommend this if you find that you are somebody that gets really oily. This is going to help to prepare your skin and mattify your skin even more in addition to the high dev anti-shine powder so that you will not be so oily as you go out throughout the day. Um, so yeah, start with a clean base. Moisturize, the Power Hydrator Plus is like a three-in-one with the tinted moisturizer and the SPF 30 for protection from the sun. Go in with your camel um, concealer, picking your shade range that closely fits to your skin tone and just making sure to blend it out. That's where the magic happens. That's how you get that undetectable coverage and then knocking off the shine like we did with the anti-shine powder. That is it. If you'd like to purchase any of these products, um, you can use my code for a special discount. It is going to be Menaji Harley, M-E-N-A-J-I, Harley is spelled H-A-R-L-E-E. -E. Thanks guys, bye.